The lead acid battery has existed for well over 100 years, and materials that are both low cost and widely abundant have allowed the lead acid battery to become a mainstay for backup and reserve power. But what are the benefits and limitations? Hi, my name is Kevin Lindley, product manager for Eaton's 3 and 5 series UPS. I'm going to talk to you about a few attributes that affect the life of the lead acid battery used in these small UPS applications. The first is environment. When it comes to battery life and performance, temperature is often one of the most important factors in your application. Most battery manufacturers use 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit as a reference for their design life. And for roughly 8 to 10 degrees Celsius or 14 to 18 degrees Fahrenheit above the reference temperature, standby battery life can be reduced by up to half. On the other end, when temperatures approach the freezing point of water, the battery capacity, or in other words, the runtime of a UPS or reserve power in an energy storage application is reduced. The valve regulated lead acid absorbent glass mat, or VRLA AGM batteries for short, used in most small UPS have a typical calendar life of three to five years in a perfect environment with minimal cycling. Which brings me to my next point, which is battery cycling. So cycling, as you would expect, and another factor, depth of discharge, affects the life of a lead acid battery. Depth of discharge is how much capacity is taken out of the battery until the battery is considered fully discharged. The batteries commonly used in small and medium sized UPS are rated for approximately 230 full discharge cycles, plus or minus a few. If the depth of discharge is reduced to 50%, the cycle life or number of cycles the battery can experience before considered end of life can be more than doubled. A lead acid battery is often considered end of life when the remaining capacity is about 80% of the capacity when brand new. Once to this point, Battery capacity degrades relatively rapidly with each subsequent cycle, so an early warning of a battery with reduced capacity is important for many people. I hope you enjoyed these few points on lead acid batteries. Please stand tuned for more in the future.